We are now done here. I know it has been some time. We have finally moved on. We're back in the real world. Yay! I got all the emails before you need to head to the bridge, which is now... Um, I don't need to go in there, I don't think. Uh, I think we're up to 22. Yeah, I should check just in case. Uh, just in case you are trying to follow along, I have uh, 20. 20 so far. We will get more. <laughs> God, there's so many emails in this game. Let's head up to the bridge. The only place that we have not been. I think only Matthews is there, and I'm sure he's going to want to talk in a cutscene. Oh, Hammer's there, too. What the? There it is again. That's so weird. What is it? It's the catapult deck. There seems to be something wrong with the hatch. Air pressure? No leaks at the moment. I wonder if it's the electrical system. Shall I take a look at it? I can fix yeah, anything. That'd be great. Doesn't look like a leak, but be careful, just in case. Got it. And that's it. That's what we had put off for so long. Really. I know, right? It's crazy what you have to put off in this game sometimes. That little cutscene right there. That'll screw you out of uh, emails if you had not already got them. i do not exactly sure why, but that's the trigger. Catapult on the ship is jerry-rigged. Of course it is. What exactly is jerry-rigged since it's the ship's greatest secret? It's the, uh, the engine, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it violates Federation laws. I can't tell you anything more than that. PA announcement. I wanted to help you. I wanted to ask you to help us prepare for the gate jump. Great timing. Can you go check the catapult? The hazardous area map. You remember that Tony asked us for that. What do you need that for? Tony's looking for it. What the hell is he doing? It's right here, of course. What? I'm saying that I have it. See? This is it, right? Tell that Martin to get, quit goofing off and get back here right now. And we get the map, so after all that, we, we did get it. Chaos, what the hell's going on with you? There's a lot going on. Tell me about it. Tell me something. Don't worry about me. I'm a mere guest here. This is nothing. The captain and Tony really abused the catapult, so it's probably falling apart, of course. I was... Damn it, Chaos, give me more information about you. <sighs> God. They don't. For forever. And then when they do, I probably won't even address it freaking game. Okay, so yes, that is it for here, I swear. <laughs> we did all that for that. So, we need to go back to uh, Tony, actually. Uh, but I think the next email that I need is, is important. But I think it's guaranteed as soon as I leave. No? Hmm, where is it? Ah, I need, yes, I need to head over here. That's where it is. I was like, as soon as I leave, right? No? Here it is. Read it. It is relatively important. So, I do have a second uh, investment notice. Uh, you will need a, a thousand for this one. Uh, I can use it through Tsuchiyama Securities. Uh, customers must choose a single corporation when making an investment. That, that doesn't necessarily make sense to me, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll buy your little premise game. Of course, they pay dividends, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have two options here. I have VentureLink. It's offering a particle generator device to the entire universe, which utilizes techniques developed through Rigel Particle Research. Rigel 6. Why does that sound familiar to me? Must be a next generation reference, I'm sure. It has a li highly effective energy saving small particle accelerating center. VentureLink has completed the development of the Rigel particle accelerator that has a high cost effect ratio. People have been speculating that the beam weapon vector industries has been developing will make use of the Rigel particle accelerator as well. Second option here is Tesla. Of course it's Tesla, why wouldn't it be Tesla? Uh, they're trying to make control ships for multi-purpose robots. 
and semiconductor sales. The two leading companies of robot sales performance, Vector Industries and Hyams, use Tesla Instruments multi-purpose robot controls in their products. So apparently Tesla is working behind the scenes. So weird for Tesla. Third, we have the Chemical Union Distribution Center. And then you can hear, you can see a little bit of the history of it. Uh, among the 17 contributing companies, including Vector Tannen Pharmaceuticals, Dawson Pharmaceuticals, and Hasegawa Biochemicals. That's not a complete sentence, really. What the, the hell's the CUDC? Oh, it's like all of them together? Okay, that makes sense. It, it, you, you can invest in chemical companies, I guess, if you wanted to. The amount of your investment will be the same regardless of the, comp the company that you choose. It's a thousand gold, I think, I, or G. Let's just go with G. It's simpler that way. Uh, yes. So, reply. Which I will be doing, and I will be investing in VectorLink. And if you are playing along, I would suggest you do the same. Uh, the others don't have quite the same benefit. Uh, but I will go over what those are later on, you know, when we get the rewards eventually. You saw that we got rewards already. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I would always just vector, venture. It's, it's pretty easy. I don't know if there's brothers running it, but whatever. I will invest in that. So now we have 22 emails. <laughs> Hooray! Now we need to head all the way back uh, to where Tony was. That would be the airlock. I don't want to go through that just yet. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Now I want to head over to the right. I don't think there's anything more for me to find here in uh, in the Elsa for now. Still segment addresses and all that. Yes, basement number one. Alan doesn't want to talk to me at all. He's just walking around aimlessly because he doesn't have the balls to ask Xion out. Seriously, Alan. What the hell? Of course, even if he did, she would be like, who are you again? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes guys are shy for a reason. Okay, so that's right. We can't go that way. We have to go this way. It is quite a bit of a run, if I remember. But I think I can just head down the ladder here, and that will make things go faster. Now I think uh, you know there's there's more emails I have to look at. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. That's it for, for a little bit. We can definitely head all the way to Tony right now. Uh, shit. <laughs> now I'm a little lost again. Uh, was this the way? Damn it. I bet there, I bet that was a map that would have shown me, too. Or is this where Hammer was? This is probably where Hammer was. Yeah, this is this is not what I'm looking for from what I remember. Don't want to go to the catapult room just yet. You can't uh, give Tony the map if you head to the catapult room just yet. So, are you going to give... You're not going to give me anything. So, I have to wing it. I don't like winging it. I like people telling me what to do. It's easier that way. Will this be a map? Come on. Oh, you suck. God, where was it? Where was it? Hold on. Okay. Now I've got my bearings. What's the point of using the shortcut if you get as lost as soon as you show up anyway? Uh, Cherenkov is ha hanging around here. I bet he has something to say. I'm going to see what's wrong with the catapult. How bad is it? No, I don't think it's anything serious. But I'm going to check it out just to be safe. Ah, uh, see. So, we need to head south. Where I went was the catapult. Uh, if you do go into the, the the catapult room, it's fine as long as you don't press the button. Um, so, you, you don't have to be too worried about screwing yourself out of uh, this honestly small reward, but you is if you don't press if you press the button then then you lose the chance. Once again, a lot of weird little timing things like that throughout this game. Where, oh, did you go to the bridge? Well, yeah, they told me to. Oh, you screwed yourself out of it. Oh, shit, did I? So here is the eggs hanger that we were looking for. Well, I was looking for. Tony's hanging out down here. How you doing, Tony? I found it. I had a girl. 
Or the, it was the captain had it. Stupid senile jackass! Did a gnosis suck out his brain or something? He ordered me to find it while while he had it all along. What? Sheesh. Oh, sorry, it's got nothing to do with you. Thanks for finding it. Hang on to this. And we get a medkit DX, uh, which is new, actually. I don't think we've gone over how much it actually heals, but it doesn't really say either. Uh, low, mid, high. So, it's the upgrade of a medkit, as you might expect. DX, better than S. To Generation X, I guess. So, now we need to head back up the way that we came. Uh, we do a lot of running around on the so Of course, because I did all my treasure hunting up front, this will work out for me in the end, because now I can just run through. Don't need to backtrack to find anything. The only thing that we really need to find is a segment address key. I forgot what number it was, but as soon as we can find that key, then we can open up that last chest that taunts me, that I think is actually right here on this screen. It is... That one right there. It taunts me. I'm sure it's just like a robot part or something, but still. <laughs> but still. Let's continue on. We need to head to the catapult, which is where Hammer was, but he's no longer there. He's on the bridge. Because we saw the cutscenes that changed that. It it is still, you know, the the pre Grand Theft Auto 4 open world RPG system where People might have a specific area where they walk, but then cutscenes happen, and then they've just changed area. They don't, like, change over time. Oh, we need two segment addresses here. Ugh, segment keys. I will get those keys. And it will be fun. So we need to head all the way up here. This is the catapult. In case you were unsure, that's why it's blinking red. Press it. Everything checks out normal. Hmm. Nothing seems to be wrong. But surely something is wrong. There is always something wrong. Alright. If there's nothing there, I guess we're fine. Good work. Come on back. Yeah, seriously, that's it. <laughs> they make us run around and for these little cutscenes, you know, that that is slightly annoying. Uh I would love to say that this stops but I think that this trend does continue what the hell was that spark uh, it's not usually this bad though I will say that it's usually not so bad that we have to run all the way across the ship many times what the hell was going on over here can't change the camera no I can't change the camera of course not that'd be too easy zoom in enhance whatever so now we have to leave and now we have more emails to get. I know, you guys are so excited for emails. This one's mandatory. Uh, you get it automatically. This becomes number 23. And that's, uh, this is about the, the hacker, yes. Access Damarung and second R&D division through Vector, yes, of course. You'll need to supply an access code to the gatekeeper in order to gain access to vector and SS. The code is something I will not memorize. We will continue monitoring our, on our end. We're counting on you. I don't think there's anything that we can do. Um, this isn't what I thought it was going to be, though. Oh, Bunny has to talk about this. Accessing Kelveroth 2, requesting access code approval. Hey, there we go. I, I gave him the, the entry code because I didn't remember it. Verified. We're just connecting. Holy crap, this is a lot of connecting. Okay, into second R&D. Shift to system mode. Thank you, I have totally been verified. Well then, I'll be going. Good luck, commencing trace and buffering. Okay, so they're looking for the, the route that was went through. Generating an immediate connection, conducting search, conducting search. Quantum shift! Holy crap! I've identified his location. The intruder has been hacking from space! You don't say. 
Could you narrow it down just a little bit, Shion? Zooming in on space location and identifying node. He logged off. You don't think he was on to us, do you? No, I don't think that's what just happened. He wasn't on to us, he just simply logged off. Well, he probably logged off because nature called or something. He had to go piss or something. What? I wish he'd take care of that ahead of time. I'll be sure to let him know, Xion. Man, just four more seconds. No, wait, not even four seconds. If he had only stayed connected for just three more seconds. If only he had stayed connected, we could have located him. On the contrary, we could have seen this dirty rat's face if there was a security camera. Or if there was a multi-purpose robot close by, we could have also used it to catch him. But we missed him by a hair. Man, we could have seen his face had he stayed connected a little bit longer, don't you think? Well, I'll stop my chit-chatting here from the area in space identified in the search right now. I was able to come up with three proposed locations where the intruder is likely to be. I'll send you the proposed site list by email, of course. Please read it as soon as possible. Got it! We're on to this hacker! We are getting him! Uh, here's the list of specified locations. This is the one that I thought we were going to get. Um, and this is the last email for now. Uh, honestly, I, I do need to reply to it. Yeah, I need to reply to this one, though. Uh, from a place equipped with a large laser communications device, the only facilities uh, would be a planet, an asteroid, or a power-generating satellite. Uh, could be asteroid LUTs, which Hamilton uses to mine, or the other is Light Spindle's power-generating satellite LS-13. Uh, could be one of the spaceships stationed at LUTs. So... Here are the proposed sites. Uh, there's 337 employees. I'm sure we will talk to them all. That, holy crap, six space battleships? That's an insane amount of security, I must say. Uh, the equipment is automated by AI. Uh, yeah, the humans just manage the AI. Best accommodation and recreation facilities, human terminal, state of the art. This, however, is a difficult place to escape from. If you had to get away by a spaceship, you'd definitely fall prey to mass drivers. Uh, you, uh, we're speaking of a prepared intruder here who could outsmart the defense system in place if you wanted to. Number two, no employees. It's a laser oscillation device. The security company is on 24 hour surveillance. Uh, according to the UMN, it would make no difference if an AI hacked into the system. More likely, the intruder would come alongside the satellite on a spaceship when connecting. It would be difficult for spaceships to pass close by the satellite if not on the flight schedule. This one isn't very convincing. And number three, the ca uh, a cargo ship on the asteroid, which was, I think, the first one, the same asteroid. Uh, the choices besides the LUTs have... A slightly higher probability of being correct since there would be no time to find an escape route. I have to say, asteroid LUT is the most likely place. So then we reply to that. Um, and I think I'm supposed to say uh, the cargo ship, actually. Uh, this one's the most likely, and I think this one is actually the correct one. So, cargo ship! That is honestly the most likely one. It was like intense amount of security, unoccupied satellite, or a cargo ship. It was a cargo ship, of course. Of course it's the cargo ship. And I think you actually do have to get this right. Um, so, cargo ship. And that is it for the emails. <laughs> Hooray! We can now go back to the bridge. It's about time. It has been some time since we've been on the bridge, and by that I mean we were kind of just there. But in real time, but it is quite a journey sometimes. So, back up through the ladder over on the right, and we should be able to make it just fine. No sidetracking this time. Well, maybe just one, but outside of that, no sidetracking. It'll be real minor, I swear. And then we should be able to move on, finally. Lots of running around the Elsa this session. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, no. That's not it. It is this one right down here. The elevator! Back up to the front, the top floor. Yes, first floor. All the way up to the top. <laughs> 